Yeah, you got Chris. Leave a message. Chris, can you please pick up the phone? I know you're there. It's really important that we talk about this. Nothing's gonna get resolved by you avoiding me. Stop acting like a fucking child and pick up the phone or call me back or something. Bye. Excuse me, can I have a beer? Haven't you heard that smoking will kill you? Yeah, that's what they say. I only smoke when I drink, usually. And when I'm fucking pissed, too. You don't smoke, do you? Not tobacco. I mean, not really. Yeah, I was kind of looking to come across some of that not really myself tonight. You know where I can pick any up? I might be able to help you out, but I can't really get involved. Yeah, I know how these things go, I'm sorry. If you can point me in the right direction. I'm pretty good with words, I can talk my way through it. Well, it's not polite to point, if you know what I mean. They have names? Yeah, they have names. The crazy one is Simon. The other one is his buddy Randall. Is this shit any good? Is it worth my time? My money? Hey, listen, it's not a recommendation, I'm just saying. If you want something, there's something over there. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be so forward about it. I appreciate your tip. I have to go meet two new friends. All right, Thanks. good luck. I just don't see it. There's no fucking way. I'm telling you the truth. Cats cannot get high. Whatever. I get Mr. Tinkles high all the time. They don't have the receptors for THC, so they can't get high. Period. I'm telling you, the end. I get my cat high all the time. All right, so how do you know he's high? Because he gets up, he runs right to the food, eats his face off, and before you know it, he's passed out on the couch. Exactly. That's what cats normally do. Tell me something new. Bet you guys know where the party is. What do you mean by party? I mean, there's a party in my pants and everyone's coming, but is that the kind of party you're talking about? No, man. Like smoking ganja? Reefer? Sentai? Chiba? Weed? Smurf bags? What the fuck are you looking for exactly? I want to buy some pot, man! Ixnay on the odd pay. Are you now, or have you ever been, a member of a law enforcement unit? Look at my fucking hair, man. Look at my duds. We're not my officer friendly over here. It's a fucking mullet, schmuck. You didn't answer my goddamn question. Maybe we should get going. Guys, this is going all wrong, man. Are you now? Are you a fucking pig? No. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. 
Then why the fuck should we believe you? I don't have any proof, but I, I promise to God. Listen, there's a way. Have you got a car? Yeah, my van's out front. Do you have a credit card? Who fucking doesn't have a card? There's only one way. You're about to be tested. <laughs> I don't get it, man. Get what? How this is the only way. What's the only way? How this is the only way. What? <laughs> Where? <laughs> what? I don't know. Third, Third base? base. You know, if you smoke with us, you can't be a cop. Yeah. If you smoke with us, and then arrest us, that's entrapment. <laughs> hey, dude. Can you give us a ride somewhere? What? It's not far. Um, well... It's pretty good pot. It's not bad. Swag. Swag? You know, ditch weed. Shit weed is more like it. I don't hear you complaining. Why well, complain? It is what it is. Seems pretty good to me. Where'd you guys pick that up? This is, this is a magic sweat. comes from the heartland of America. It takes on the qualities of America. It's full of body and taste and aroma and stampede through the lungs. Storms. Two lungs. Like a covered wagon. Approaching its manifest destiny. This pot. this pot, this pot, this pot, this pot isn't smoking itself. This pot comes from Western Illinois, birthplace. Ronald fucking Reagan. Who? I'm not exactly sure which town, but out there, this shit goes free and tall all summer long. Mingyo. To be by anyone 
who wants it. Yeah, fucking A, man. All right! You want to get some? It is good for shit weed. Oh, yeah. Are you okay to drive? Yeah. Uh, no more of that. Y yeah. I'll drive if you want. I want all, I mean, yeah, here's the keys, dude. Morning, sunshine. Where are we, man? Thought you want to get some more of that pot. Yeah, man, I did. Where is that pot anyways, dude? You guys got that up there? I told you. It's in Illinois. Illinois? That's like fucking ten hours away. Not from here, it's not. Hold the fucking phone, man. I just wanted to get a fucking dime bag. I didn't want to go on some harebrained field trip. Yeah, man. In my own van with two fucking homos driving it? What the fuck? For the record, I'm the homo. Yeah, and I get more pussy than a Chinese restaurant. Wake and bake? Sure. Thanks. All right, here's the plan. Hidden in the cornfields of Western Illinois are acres and acres of free dope. We drive out there, you drop us right off after sunset. We pick the dope, you come back right before sunrise, we load up the van, we go home. Yeah, then what, man? Then what? Then we get like 200 pounds times 200 bucks a pound. We break it up, uh, that's like $400,000. And more than enough dope than you can smoke in a whole year. $400,000. You could use that kind of money, couldn't you? Who couldn't? Who couldn't? I know I could. I know I could. That's a lot of dough, you know. That's a lot of dough. You know? More than enough for all your wildest dreams. Not my wildest dreams. Definitely yours. Fuck you, dick. Oh, I gotta go, Kate. Oh. 
Who the fuck's Kate? Uh, this girl, my my girlfriend, Kate, back home. You know, a man can't go out drinking, right? Once in a while, without having to get permission from his girlfriend. He's not a man at all. What a bitch. It's not like that. She's not a fucking bitch. I didn't mean her. Oh, dude. It's... It's just she's gonna be worried, you know? I usually come home, man. Worried enough to call the cops? <laughs> no. Not the cops. <laughs> Whoa, wait! It's not a fucking permission slip to keep going! I don't want to be any part of this shit! Turn around, man! You can't fail. It'll be fun. What the fuck do you know about it? Look it. He can see the future. How's he gonna do that? Rub his crystal balls? Eh, uh, nah, nah. He can read the stars. I don't know. You don't know what? Today isn't a good day. Saturn is in retrograde. What the fuck does that mean? Means everything is gonna be just fine. Dixon? It's supposed to be Sterling. What's that mean? I was coming back from Burning Man a few years ago. And I was taking the 80 and stopped in Illinois to take a piss, because I really had to piss like a racehorse who really has to piss. Anyway, they got this place called Sterling, Illinois. The birthplace of Ronald fucking Reagan. I say, this is a spot. So I tell myself, what better place to take a fucking leak than right here? My own little trickle-down theory in action. So I pulled the van over to the side of the road. I wandered in a little ways. Then I stop. Then I think, shit, I'm in western buttfuck here, right? It's like deliverance waiting to happen. Then I wander in a little further. And I'm about to whip it out and take a pee. And then I realize... I'm standing in front of a motherfucking dope plant. A six foot tall motherfucking dope plant. I almost peed my pants. Like I said, I'd just come back from Burning Man. I didn't have any fucking dope. So I got down on my knees and I started thanking Ronald Reagan, the Virgin Mary, Chong, not Cheech. I took out my knife, cut that bitch down, so I ran back to the van, got the fuck out of there. You can't be too careful. We're too stoned. Uh, all right, maybe too stoned. So where was this pot? Look, it's everywhere. It's all around us. Yeah, you sure about that, man? Of course he's sure. You are sure. I'm sure I'm sure. We just gotta find a cornfield. That seems easy enough. Wait, you guys never fucking been out here before? Look at me. Why would I have been out here before? A gay rodeo? No, it j to like help Simon, I mean. You guys hang out a lot, right? No, I've never done this before. This is big time. Wait, how many times you done this shit before? Three. Three? Well, counting this time. Wait, you've only done this fucking twice? Look, it's not fucking rocket science, all right? We drive there, we pick up the dope, we put it in the van, we drive home. Now how fucking difficult can that be? So where do you find this pot? Look, it's everywhere. It's all around us. Trust me. Trust you? Trust you fucking guys? I wake up in Shanghai to my own van just going to a local bar? Just looking for some weed? Trust is done, man. I want to see some of these fields of pot. You better fucking produce. Fine. I'll show you, biatch.
Turn around. Just drive. Stop, stop, let me out here. Just keep going. I said go, damn it! I gotta wait for the fucking car, dickhead. I know it's around here somewhere. It has to be. Stop, stop, pull over there. I'll be back. So. Yeah. How about that game the other night? Game? Yeah, wasn't there a game, I don't know, somewhere? Duh, I guess somewhere. Well, uh, do you want to smoke some pot? Sure. You ever wonder how you got here? Yes, yeah, Simon drove? No, not... not here. Here. Here, Malachi. I think the corn's starting to get to you. Just, just smoke. I got it. I know. Now give it back, Humphrey. Humphrey? Bogart? Is that him? It's good. Uh, that... Give me the joint? Oh, oh here, <laughs> sorry. God. <laughs> wow. We're going the wrong way. What do you mean we're going the wrong way? We're coming from the east. <clears throat> when Simon first found this place, he was coming from the west. Burning Man or something. We're all twisted around. Hey, Randy, you and I, let's go out and find this shit, right? You take the van, come back in a couple hours. Hold on, let me get my magic gay ball. Mm, no. Get in, I, I figured out what's wrong. Let me explain. That does make sense. Hometown, birthplace, those greedy bastards have had two fucking exits. Well, now what? Good times. Great times. Fuck yeah! Good times. What the hell? Holy shit! This is it. This fucking it. Looks pretty good for swag, man. Almost makes this shit work. What are you boys doing here? Uh... Simon? I said, what are you boys doing here? Floor it. Tell me what to do here. We have to get back to the highway. Pull the emergency brake, turn the wheel. Bootleggers U-turn. Are you serious? Just do it. Everything else has worked out so far.
Is everyone all right? Not yet. Floor it. Holy shit! What was it? Nothing. Just keep going. We gotta get back to the highway. Go left. He saw our plates. He'll know we're from New York. Who cares? The police. This shit will get you 15 years here. 15 years? Oh yeah. This is big time. Listen, I just chased a bunch of kids off my property. What are the cops gonna do? Is that big fat fuck gonna say? Yeah, them boys stole my pot. Yeah, well I need it for my glaucoma. <laughs> Maybe he's gonna say. Yeah. There's a long hair, a faggot, and a Jew. And they were from New York City. Keep laughing, pink boy. Maybe he's gonna tell the cops. Yeah, they got enough pot in there to poison Moline. We need a place to stop so we can chop this sucker up. Why can't we just do it on the road? No. It'll look like we're cutting up a fucking body back here. Find the right spot, no one's gonna see us. Yo, I'm open as to where we stop. Your guess is good as mine. Yeah, I'm gonna pull off over here. Yeah, turn right here. This looks good. Jesus. Dude. The thing with the farmer, right. it did not go so good. Like ah. a Jew at Easter Mass. What are we gonna do now? We stick it up our asses. We smoke it, come on. <laughs> this thing's like a fucking Christmas tree, man. We gotta strip the leaves off or something. I mean, come on, look at this mess. Here, strip the leaves off and put them in this. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I'm taking a spritz. Oh, me too. Don't worry, I'll help you in a minute. I just want to freshen up a bit. Yeah, uh, all right. I'm just not going to do this by myself. Is everything all right? Uh, yeah. May maybe not. How do you do that? Grab where the stem is. Pull out towards the end. Stroking motion. Works every time. Yeah, I got my own, thanks. so refreshing. You sure don't want a wet nap? A hooker shower. No, I'm all set, man. Thanks. This is crappy pot. It's all leaves. Where's the fucking buds? Yeah, but such a deal. What a bargain. We have to head west. They wouldn't expect us to go that way. You know, snagging shit out in broad daylight. It's gonna land our ass in jail. Fucking A right. I'm feeling something. What? I don't know. Something. Something good? Or something bad? I'm sensing something. My roach sense is tingling. Here we go. What the fuck could it be? Get the fuck out of here. Step off, pink boy. There's dope around here. I can smell it. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Whatever. Shh, quiet. Wait right here. We might as well relax. He could be gone a while. Help me with this?
How'd you meet Simon, anyways? I met him on Halloween. I thought he was stoned, that it was fucking gourd. And you were correct. Oh. I've never seen anything like this. Shit. It's the best fucking ditchweed I've ever seen in my life. Awesome. There's a whole fucking field of it. Now what? Now what? We take it. We take all of it. I'm just not sure how. What's the big deal? We're in the middle of nowhere. Just because we're in the middle of nowhere doesn't mean we're safe. It just means we're far from home. All this trouble for a plant. Huh? All this trouble for a fucking plant. Almost doesn't seem worth it. Almost, that is. It's fucked up, dude. I mean, you can drive around, pull over, grab it off the side of the road and throw it in your fucking van. Boom. Now it's illegal. Psst. All this shit growing everywhere. How can they keep a lid on it, man? What, are they going to keep it to themselves? Welcome to Bogart, Illinois, man. Population three. It's a money thing. They have to make money on everything. It's illegal because you have to pay tax on it. Yet they won't give you the license to pay the tax on it. It's not a money thing. What is it then? It's a dick thing. All the old guys got all the money, all the nice cars, and all the big houses, and now they got fucking Viagra. The only way we straight guys can get any of the really fine pussy is with dope. You guys want to get high? Let's smoke this. Perfect. We have to smoke that one. I've never seen any shit like that before. Let's go. Gotta kill time till the sun goes down, don't we? Yeah. Let's get something to eat. I'm about to be hungry. Fuck you. 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 Fucking fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. What the hell is this supposed to be about anyway? This is erotic performance art. I'm trying to show something meaningful here. That is a giant chipmunk being whipped by a fucking nurse. A leather nurse. And yes, it is. It's a piece about animal vivisection. I couldn't even spell vivisection. Of course you couldn't. Don't you get it? Guys in strip clubs don't want to see this shit. They want to see tits is swaying and asses shaking. <laughs> there's more to life than tits and ass. Not <laughs> just there's not. not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't give me that fucking look. You know that shit's funny. No, I don't. Listen, I'm not going to die here. I'm going to LA. You in what army? The kiss army? <laughs> <laughs> look, babe, I told you. If I could get the money up, I'd take you anywhere you want. Really? Really. Really lame. <laughs> what? <laughs> so funny. You wouldn't understand. Try me. Everyone else has. No one from here ever makes it anywhere else. You're born here, you die here, and that's the end of your fucking story. That's the end of your fucking story. I wasn't born here, so I am not going to die here. And what was that for? That was for goodbye. 
I wasn't born here, and I'm not gonna die here. So go fuck yourself. You go fuck yourself, you freaky fucking bitch. <laughs> Whatever. Sure, I'll hear from you later. You can't get enough of this. <laughs> Dude, I'm fucking hungry, man. I haven't eaten in days. You'll be fine. I had to shave. Shave? Why now? In a rest area? What's the point, man? That farmer got a good look at me. I'm not taking any chances. Fucking freaks. Take a bath, hippie. You fucking smell. Where the fuck are you? Eh? Eh? You're not talking about me, Mr. Stubbly Wubbly. What? Faggots. Well, get over yourself, Mary. Yeah. Let's go. Try something. Let's go. Hold on, man. She's gonna come back out here to get me, and I want to be here to rub her fucking nose in it. How can you be so sure? What are you, a fucking idiot? Her suitcase is in the back seat of my car, jackass. You had to move it to get in the fucking back seat. It's got all her earthly belongings in it. She ain't going anywhere without that shit. Man, when guy was handing out servants of stupid, you asked for fucking seconds. If I didn't like you so much, I'd probably shoot you myself. Uh, I think I have to use the restroom. Okay. I can't believe how much this hurts. It doesn't give me anything for my birthday. Picks a fight with me, and then he leaves. I'm sorry, Kate. You mean you haven't heard from him since the fight? No. Called him once. Left him a message, but he didn't call me back yet. Maybe he's out. Out for a day and a half? I'm worried. He never pulls this crap. I'm sure everything is all right. I'm thinking he's cheating on me. Huh. What was that for? I'm sure everything is fine. Well, what would make you think that anyway? He's been acting weird lately. I mean, he's younger than I. He's not as mature. I am turning 30, you know. I know, I know. You know what? I know that it must be hard getting old. What? I mean, thinking that you're getting old. I'm not thinking. I'm aging. You're only 27. What do you know about that? Yeah, that's a big difference. I don't know how I could imagine what it's like to be your age. You don't. You can't. I'm freaking out, aren't I? Yes. Tell me I have nothing to worry about. You have nothing to worry about. I'm sure I'm just being silly. Don't worry about it. I'm sure I'll be the same way when I get to be your age. What? Just kidding. Lighten up. Do you hear something? You need to chillax. Chillax? Please enter your credit card to complete this call. Where's my wallet? How is she? Didn't get through. What? How, how'd you know? <laughs> I can tell. You're completely whipped. I know. Let's go see what the tall man's up to. What's up? I'm Chris. 
joy. You most certainly are. So, you boys don't look like you're from around here. No, not really. Actually, we're from New York. To York? <laughs> you haven't really been anywhere else, have you? Actually, no. But my father's family's from New York. Are you planning on going back anytime soon? Actually, we're from Rochester. Near Westchester? No, it's not. Would you like to come along with us, my dear? Sure. It's gotta be closer to New York than here, right? It certainly is. Closer to New York than here. Barely. <laughs> Simon? Yes? I have something to talk to you about. So you would like to go somewhere maybe and discuss this? Yeah, I would. So we're through here then? Yes, we are. Good, it's settled. Well, Joy, you get to come back with us to New York. <gasps> Let me get my things. What the hell is that about? Guys, what the fuck are we doing here? I thought we came here to pick up a package. That hasn't changed. She's certainly quite a package. Obviously. What? I didn't come all the way down here to go on a fucking poon hunt. What are we gonna do with her? I know what I'm gonna do with her. Here's what we're gonna do. She can drive. Chris comes out in the field, we get even more. I'm not fucking picking anything, man. I'm just driving. We talked about this shit. He's I don't trust her. Me. You don't even know the trick. You don't know Chris, but you trust him. Chris is most at risk. It's his van we drove. It's his credit card Shh. we used to buy gas. Besides, you can't trust something that bleeds for five fucking days and doesn't die. Fuck you! Dude, Fuck what's you. going on out there, man? Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck Give you. me my shit! Are you guys really gonna go to LA? Do you know what erotic performance art is, Ben? Of course he doesn't. It's fucking. For money. In front of fucking people. No way any girlfriend of mine is gonna move to New York and have fucking sex for fucking money in front of fucking people. So fuck you, you fucking fuck. Ugh, fuck you. I wouldn't be having sex for money. I'd be showing other people how to have sex for money. And I wouldn't be doing it all the time. Of course I'd ask you to guest star. Come on, you can wear a mask. Read my fucking lips, no fucking way. Yeah. I'm not showing my cock to a bunch of horny old fucks just so you can buy some more fucking crank. <laughs> Whatever. This performance art shit sucks anyway. You can't see their tits. They're either wearing fucking suits or paint. What the fuck? Look at that mess. Can anyone hear what they're saying? I can't, I can't really make it out. <laughs> Does anyone speak trailer park? We gotta do something, guys. What's the special today, toots? Well, it's just like you, Bubala, to ask what's thrifty, isn't it? I'll tell ya. The special today is pastrami. You like pastrami, don't ya? I'm gonna sweeten the deal for you, though. I'm gonna throw in some free ham. Such a deal, honey? Can't pass that up, can you, darling? 
<laughs> oh, and look at you, sweetie. Aren't you precious? I bet you like a good piece of meat, don't ya? <laughs> Pastrami? No thanks. I don't like ethnic meat. I think we're gonna need a few minutes. All right. If you want something to go along with that side dish of drama she's serving up, give me a call. Especially you, cutie. What the fuck's up with that guy? Hey, Joy. What's wrong? Mm, nothing. Oh, come on. You could tell us. We're perfect strangers. Well, first of all, I lost my job. Sucks. And then, my boyfriend kicked me out. Uh, asshole. You know, it couldn't have happened to a nicer person. Thanks. <laughs> what? I was just trying to be helpful. Meow. So, I guess this means you're single now. I guess. What? I'm just trying to help a lady out. Out of her clothes. Listen. The fucking mook is gonna be back any second. We're pissing away time at this diner. It's gonna be dark enough by the time we get back. Let's just fucking go do this. You're right. Let's get out of here before anything else happens. Saturn's in retrograde anyway. So, guys got any weed? Really calms my nerves. Do we look like the kind of people who would smoke marijuana? Well, you certainly smell like people that use marijuana. But not much soap. You could smoke soap? S sorry, it's been a long couple days. Right. So, what are you guys all up to, anyways? Well, Randall and I have to go somewhere. Pick something. Up. Pick something? I I'm just driving. That's all. Okay. What do I get to do? <laughs> you get to sit there and see nothing. Nothing. In return, you get to come back with us to New York. And I get to fill my wildest dream. Okay. Great. Whatever you want. Just as long as I get out of here. I'm hard. Hey, she can't do that. Simon, she can't do that. Why not? Why not? I called shotgun. When did you do that? In New York. Just shut up and get in the van. Oh, no fucking way. You can be Shaggy, and you can be Fred, or is it sh Shaggy, or whatever, either one. If anyone on this trip is Daphne, I am. Don't Velma me, honey. Hey, assholes. My van, I'm driving. Rest of you's sorted out. Okay, yep. shotgun. Bitch. Excuse me. Did you know we live in an expanding universe? Oh, really? I love it when it expands. What does that mean exactly? Eventually, the universe will stretch to its limits. And then it will contract. Right. You see, the reason we experience time is because we live in an expanding universe. When it starts contracting, we will only remember what will happen, not what has already occurred. Really? And what's that like? It's like wearing a blindfold. And then wondering what's gonna happen 
next? Oh. I'm still hard. How's it coming? There. You got it? Pretty sure. This modem doesn't have a static IP, so every now and then it changes. It doesn't happen that often, so I forget about it. So now, are you ready? Sorry. I don't like smoking when I work. It's the only way I work. That's fine for you. You're an artist. You're all right-brained. It's just not for me. It's for you now, though, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I'm good to go now. So, why do you get high every time you eat? Well, I figured that as soon as I smoke, I'm going to want to eat. So I might as well smoke while I'm eating and save myself a trip to the kitchen. That way, I don't have to get up off the couch. Aren't you worried the food is going to kill your buzz? There's only one solution for that. Smoke more? Mmm. Smoke more. No. Is your email working? Is your email working? Mm. Samaya! Would you <laughs> stop? <laughs> stop what? Stop talking with your mouth full. So is it working? Yep, it's connecting now. I've got mail. Okay. So, what's this all about then? Um, it's... Oh. <laughs> Do you consider this hardware or software? Um, it's, um... Samaya, I can't believe you. Um, oh my god. Oh my god. I know. Um... First, it's software. <sighs> then, it becomes hardware. <laughs> There's a perfectly logical reason why I have this. I bet. And where did you get it? Never mind. It's a present, that's all. Don't tell me. From that new guy you're seeing? He bought you a big, fake cock? Jenny, these walls are paper thin. Get the door, get the door. Wait, wait, don't get the door. Here, give it here. Where are you gonna hide it? Hide it? Why would I hide it? Besides, who's going to be at the door that's going to care? Be right there. What if it's the cops? Well, if it is, we're going away for a long time. So we might as well enjoy it while we can. Everything cool? Yeah. Hey, Samaya. Look who it is. It's Kate. Hi, Kate. Hey. You guys smell something? I don't smell anything. Jenny, do you smell anything? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. It's that incense we were burning earlier. Right, the incense. Incense? It smells like pot. It sure does. It does? Mm hmm Yeah. It's the ganja-flavored incense. Flavored? They make ganja-flavored incense? <laughs> they sure do. I thought you, uh, burnt incense to head smell pot, though. Trying to make this place smell like a 17-year-old boy's dorm room? Mm. Reminds me of college. College. Come on, Kate. You remember college, right? 
not really. Smoked a lot of dope back then. That's right. You were a stoner. <laughs> hmm. So why did you quit? You know, I didn't quit. I grew up. What's that supposed to mean? She didn't mean anything by that. Except that pot's for losers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah? You drink, don't you? What's the difference? The difference is alcohol is legal and pot isn't. So, if the government says it's okay, then it's okay? I don't agree with that at all. Look, y'all know the difference between pot and alcohol. One of them causes brain damage. Right. Right. You are talking about the alcohol, right? No. Alcohol only affects the liver. It doesn't affect the brain. Right? Let me ask you this. Do you ever drink so much that you forget what happens? Who hasn't? Well, when I smoke, I never forget what happens. That's because nothing ever happens. It's not like you get all stoned and go on some big adventure. Damn. <laughs> Isn't it working? Uh, uh, no. What's wrong? Nothing. It's nothing, really. It's not nothing. She can't get her email to work. Oh, can't get the hang of those things either. There's nothing wrong. Nothing I can't fix anyway. Lighten up, Mama. If it wasn't for Chris, I'd never figure those things out. I don't know what I'd do without them sometimes. I'm sure you'd manage. Come on, you're tough. Yeah, you are all you need. <laughs> Kate, what's, what's wrong? wrong? <laughs> I think Chris is cheating on me. What? <laughs> Bastard. I can't believe he said that. I mean, are you sure? Do you have any proof? All right, we're here. Now what? We're gonna get out. You come back in one hour. What the fuck? You're, you're not the boss of me. You know what? Get some gas, too. We're on empty. Oh. Here's your credit card back. <laughs> in case you need it. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Let's get out of here. Catch. Look, I, uh, I know this is kinky and all, and don't get me wrong, I like that. But, can I take this off now? Yeah, sure, whatever. Can we stop somewhere to pee? I really, really have to pee. Yeah, I think there's a place up here. Where are we? Is this still Illinois? No. Listen, you need to tell me what's going on. I don't think so. You'll know soon enough. Is it something sexy? I have a girlfriend. Is <laughs> she as hot as me? That's not the point. I think I know where the point is. Yo! You want to smoke some pot? Sure! Do you got some? I don't have anything to smoke it out of, though. I think there's a store up here we can stop and get some papers. Yeah. You should probably call your girlfriend, too. Bet she's worried sick. Yeah, I was planning on it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go use the payphone. Suit yourself. I'm gonna change, and no peeking.
Hello? Kate? Chris, I've been so worried. Listen, baby. I'm sorry I ran out. I just wanted some time to think. It's okay. It's okay. I understand. Think about what? You know, the stuff you said. You know I was only saying that for your own good. My own good? How's it good to hear that you think I'm immature? Because <laughs> otherwise, how would you know? I hope you're kidding. So, uh, where are you anyways? Where's there an 815 area code? Come on, Kate. Admit you were kidding. Don't leave me hanging. Don't leave you hanging? What do you think I've been doing the past two days? Come on, Kate. This isn't the time for this. When is the time, Chris? When is the time? Not right now. Chris? Where are you? Listen, baby. I just went out to pick something up, and I realize it's been a long time since we've talked to each other, and I really, really miss you. Saw this phone on the side of the road. Pulled over to call you and say hi, so... How you doing? That something? That what I think it is? Well, yeah. I'm sure you know what it is. Are you in jail? No. <laughs> Not yet. I'm gonna make this slow and simple for you. Where are you? <laughs> Get off my back! Get off my back! I don't know what's going on there, but you better be at my house tomorrow for dinner at 7 sharp. Uh, I know. I know. I'll be there. I'll be... Listen, Chris, I'm sorry for yelling, but sometimes when we talk, you seem so distracted. It's like you're not even there. That's it. What's it, girl? He is definitely cheating on me. Definitely. Okay. We promised we weren't going to say anything. But... I think you need to know. Need to know what? Where are you going? Oh. Is everything okay? Not really. But, uh, I'm sure it doesn't matter to you. It could. Come on, what's the problem, big boy? You can tell me anything. I don't know. It's not really a problem. I mean, we don't really have a problem. It's just, sometimes we have a hard time communicating. Communicating how? Bed? No! No! Oh, relax. Relax, relax. Oh my god. Breathe. You want some of this? Yeah, sure. So, if it's not sex, what is it then? All right, four months ago, Kate was telling me that she had never had a surprise party. And she was wondering if maybe her friends didn't care enough to throw her one. And I said, that's not it. Uh, our friends aren't even competent enough to put one of those things together. I mean, these guys can't even bring a beer on the Friday night. You think they're going to be in on some big, huge, insane birthday conspiracy? So she says, My friends could. Your friends couldn't. <laughs> and, like, I was shocked. So I go, What is it about my friends that bothers you so much? And she said, Chris, they can't even remember to bring beer over on a Friday night. That is the problem. Wow. She sounds like a real Elkie. What? An Elkie, you know. An alcoholic. Hits the bottle a little too much. Look, look, look. It wasn't about the beer. Sounds like it's about the beer. It wasn't. How do you know? I asked her. Really? And what that old booze hound have to say about it? So I go. You don't even fucking like beer. That's not the point. So I go. You said it was about the beer. It's because they don't bring beer over. Hence, about the beer. So she looks at me. <laughs> she gives me, you know, the look. And she says, it's not about the beer. It's about responsibility. And I just look at her. And then she says, 
Chris, you keep running around with the guys like you're still in college. Or in high school, maybe in your case. When are you going to grow up? Wow. It's kind of harsh, isn't it? Yeah. I thought about that shit for a long time. And I just looked at her. Finally, I said, I didn't think I had to. Had to what? Are you having a bad dream? Chris. But by that time, Whatever. she had already forgotten the conversation. So, was that enjoyable for you? Or what? I mean, you're still with her, aren't you? Yeah, Kate has her moments, but so do I. Moments, yeah. My dad used to have moments. You want to see some of the scars? No! Fuck! Uh, sorry, no, sorry. About your dad. So, what's so great about her? Is she a hot lay? Or what? Yeah. Yeah, no. Yes, that's not the point. That's not the point. The point was, a surprise party would show her that I was responsible. Huh? That, that was a whole thing, you know? She really wanted a surprise party, and, uh... If the reason she couldn't have one was because her boyfriend couldn't pull it off, then... What chance do we really have together? So how'd she like the party? That's the thing. It's tomorrow night! Huge party back home. She thinks we're going out to dinner. I'm throwing a surprise party. But, uh, the only problem, the only hitch in the whole plan, she hasn't seen me do anything for this party, so she's starting to get on my case and feel a little neglected. Uh, that's a bad thing. Okay. So, let me get this straight. After this, you're gonna go back to New York to throw your bitchy little girlfriend some big fancy surprise birthday party. Yeah, except for the part where she's bitchy. Okie dokie. Have it your way. We still need papers to roll some joints with. We need to get me some food, because I'm starving. You know, I haven't eaten all day. Uh, I think I'm going to go get some munchies and some papers. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I forgot to get gas. You got the time on you, by any chance? Why? I think we're late. I think we're fine. I'm sure you'll be fast. Fast as lightning. The quickest. Silver quick. Fast! Nice ass. Too bad. Fuck. Let's go. Okay. What were you doing? I was just saying... Goodbye. Now what's wrong? Just thinking about going to jail. That's all. Ugh, you're the most uptight stoner I know. Thanks. 
So, um, didn't you say you had some pot? <sighs> We're gonna get fucking busted. And all you care about is getting high. Fucking awesome. Well, the way that I see it is if we're gonna get busted anyways, might as well be really ripped. I mean, it's gonna be a long time before it happens again, right? Yeah, I never really thought about it like that. It's in the bag, in the bag. Uh, do you see it? The bag? Look, just like real cops and robbers. Give me that fucking piece. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? Have I been a bad girl? Do I need to spank him? Just sit your ass down. <sighs> you are no fun. Where is he? I told you. What? Never mind. You told me what? He's doing her? No, he's not. Oh, yes, he is. No, he's not. Look, there he is. Is everything all set? Yeah. Well, I forgot to get gas, but it's no sweat. What do you mean you forgot to get gas? What the fuck you been doing for an hour and a half? Can we talk about this later? I want to talk about this now. Oh my god, will you both shut up? I know a place where they don't lock up the pumps. We can go fill her up there. Yeah, dude. All right, now fun's fun. We all like to have fun, right? It's fun to have fun. Just want to know what happened. So we don't jump to any conclusions. You all right? <laughs> Some people are better than all right. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you two? God, I just want to get gas and go home. Be a spoil sport then. out getting drunk somewhere? We're here because you need an attitude adjustment. Yeah, I need to chillax. So word again. I need to chill out or whatever. I know he's not cheating on me now. But I do know he is a big pothead. I prefer marijuana enthusiasts. I'm sure you do. This is going to be just what you need. I'll be the judge of that. Girl, you spent too much time judging and not enough time listening. Hello? Hello? Hello, Jenny. Come on in. Robin. Hello. These are my friends Samaya and Kate. Hi. 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 Sorry to come by so late. Oh, that's no problem. You know, you're always welcome here. Please, have a seat. You're not expecting me to sit on the floor, are you? What? Oh, she's the one. What's that supposed to mean? It means you're the one we're here to help. I don't think I need any help. Which is exactly why you do. Girls, they're here. Hi. Hi.
These are my friends, Indica and Sativa. Ladies, this is Jenny, Kate, and Samaya. Indica and Sativa? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, I see. Yeah, she's the one. Okay, I'm getting really tired of all this witchy pot shit. Can someone tell me what the hell is going on? J-Boy, bring us the goddess. Thank you. You need to hear this. Again? Whatever. Right. So if pot's so great, you must let your kids smoke it, right? Hmm. Good question. Ja? Not until I'm 18. That's right. You have enough to worry about right now. Besides, they'll still be making more next year. I believe it's important to tell your children the truth about drugs and not just try to scare them. Once your children catch you in a lie, they'll have a hard time believing you about anything. I still haven't forgiven you about Santa Claus. <laughs> and you probably never will. Be gone. Now, to the matter at hand. Like what, new makeover tips? No, silly, we're here to help you. To help me what? To help you understand. Jenny thinks you believe the lies about marijuana. We're here to help you understand the truth. Get it, crazy hippie lady. Pot's good, I'm bad. Can we go now? You guys have fun getting high. I'm gonna go to the bars, drink some beers maybe, smoke some cigarettes. One's not any better than the other. At least you think they're equal now. You're getting better. Oh honey, they're not equal. Alcohol is a poison. Pot's not a poison. Really? How do you figure? Alcohol works by depressing your central nervous system. Drink a little of it, you lose your motor skills. That seems like fun. <laughs> Drink too much of it, you die. And it doesn't even take that much. All right, so pot's not a poison? No, pot's a psychedelic. It works in a completely different way. Really, how? Pot works by loosening the strict boundaries of the narrow pathways, making it possible for more connections to be made. That's why it's such an inspirational drug. Alcohol's a depressant, a low, not a high. Okay, great, so pot's not a poison. But what about long-term effects? There's gotta be more tar in, in marijuana smoke than in cigarette smoke. What about lung cancer? There isn't any. What? There has never been a confirmed case of lung cancer in a marijuana smoker. Well, one who didn't smoke tobacco as well. But that doesn't make any sense. Well, if you think about it, marijuana doesn't leach radioactive material out of the ground like tobacco does. A commercial tobacco is grown with radioactive fertilizer. It's the radiation, not the tar, that kills. Okay, so it doesn't cause lung cancer. But what about brain damage? Nope, sorry. No long-term damage there. Aging is far worse for you. <laughs> and there's nothing you can do about that. So what you're saying is pot is completely safe? No, of course not. Nothing is completely safe. For example, you could drink two liters of water in an hour and you'd die. Your kidneys couldn't process it. Okay, so what are you saying? What I'm saying 
is that of the three, alcohol, tobacco, and marijuana, <laughs> marijuana is by far the safest. Marijuana is the anti-drug. Yeah, but how safe is safe? Well, there are only two plants that contain all the amino acids that humans need to survive and thrive. That's marijuana and soybean. Hemp seed's been a dietary staple in different cultures throughout history. And marijuana has been used in tinctures, sold in stores across the country like Sears. And now in modern times, we find the old ways are best. It seems every month there's a new medicinal use discovered in Europe. So if pot's so good for you, why is it still illegal? <laughs> <laughs> How much time do you have? You can look up the sad story on why our sister was jailed some other time. The real reason they put her away is because they were afraid of her. They were afraid that young women would smoke her and become so horny they would sleep with anyone. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Our society's always trying to control a woman's sexuality. <laughs> but they won't succeed! <laughs> but in the end, isn't it all just about getting stoned? Is that really such a moral high ground? Depends on how valuable getting stoned is. Ladies, why do you get high? My perception of the first time is that it took me completely out of the present reality and placed me into an elevated sort of reality where my senses were doing all of the things they should ideally be doing if I were completely relaxed and able to take all of the inhibition out and just take the experience in. I think that's why I continue to do it, because it's a quick way of getting to that state of mind. The biggest reason I think people smoke pot is to connect to each other on a genuine emotional level and to really have a heightened awareness about it. And I think that's important. I just started doing it because I like doing it. I mean, if I was gonna go out partying with friends, it just seems to enhance the whole experience. If I was stressed out because of a hard day at work, it just makes me more relaxed. And honestly, I don't think it's had a negative impact on my life at all. I mean, I'm not dependent on it. I don't have to have it. I don't go out and buy it, it's mostly just given to me. So if I'm out with friends or having a good time, then why not? There's way more to our sister than just getting stoned. I mean, that's just the way she got her attention. Okay. There is only one known annually renewable natural resource capable of providing the overall majority of the world's paper and textiles, meeting all the world's transportation industrial, and home energy needs. Simultaneously, reducing pollution, rebuilding the soil, and cleaning the atmosphere. That's marijuana. Amen! We don't need to get stoned. <laughs> we do need to stop using energy made from death, like oil, and start using energy made from life, like marijuana. Wow. Thank you. I had no idea. Well, what can we do now? Smoke more. All right, I'm in. Stop, stop, right here, right here, right here, right here. This is it. All right. What's the big deal? What's so great about this place? Don't worry about it. I gotta pee. I'll be right back. Pee? Pee! 
Just hang tight. I don't know what you see in those things. It's pretty obvious to me. Does anyone want to get high? Yeah. We did it. Randall, we have never done it. Whatever, you know what I mean. I cannot believe we pulled this shit off. <sighs> what the fuck? Ba ba ba! Shit. Surprise, surprise, you dumb motherfuckers. <sighs> what the fuck's he doing here? I'd never leave my man for some faggot freaks. I prefer metrosexual. What's going on here? They didn't hurt you, did they? No. They're gonna hurt you, aren't they? They're gonna try. And I got a family to support. What the fuck? I must have jerked off so much I've gone deaf. It's blind, you fucking idiot. No man is deaf. I can't hear anything, so I'm deaf. Thanks. No problem, man. I got him now, killer. Die! Guy! Killer? Can I call you, sweetie? No. Oh. No deal, man. Are you two having a fucking moment? Fucking New Yorkers. Nothing but fags. Fags? Metrosexual. <laughs> You are so lucky I won't touch trash. Am I? Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> oh, shit. You know, maybe if you would have tried something, I wouldn't have gotten around to calling Nick. Yeah, my loss. I didn't get to fuck some hot, young stripper and... And throw away a relationship with someone who loves me. Oh, yeah. Oh. I bet she's a really hot 30-year-old librarian. Oh, graphic designer. Same difference. Fuck you. Oh. Hey, baby, is this everything? Wait, there's one last thing. All right. Now, where'd the other guy go? I don't know, man. Fucking figure it out. He probably fucking took off. Got scared, he's a fucking faggot. I don't know. Jesus H, motherfucking cocksucking Christ. Did you have to take everything? I'll take everything you got, baby. Oh, you are so getting a spanking. Now do we have everything? Got it all now. You know, you're lucky you called me when Ben was around. We never would have fit half the shit in my fucking car. Well, anything, anything for, for you, you, honey. Ah! What the fuck is this? Brickweed? Yeah, it's already bricked up, you fucking idiot. Oh, <laughs> now we're talking. Nice gun. Gun? Put that shit down. You never even held Asshole. a fucking gun. How hard can it be? I don't know. You'll find out when you shoot yourself in the fucking face. Ah, <laughs> oh, so great. Yeah. Uh, what is? All this. It's gotta be worth a lot. Right? I don't know. Sure. I we don't should know. get it right to New York. Yeah, and do what with it? I got connections. Like who? Don't worry about it. All I'm saying is we need to get there right now. Right now. Come on, baby. You said the only thing holding us back was the money. Well, yeah, but... But what? Look, I gotta find Ben, all right? What the fuck does he have to do Don't with it? Don't you have any idea what the fuck is going on right what? now? What? What's going on? <laughs> Nick! <sighs> I always thought they were gay. Hey, Dribbles. What? You all right? No. Oh. Are you able to run? How fast? Faster than a speeding bullet? I don't think so. Shit. Oh, this is not good. Really? 
It's like my father told me at my first wedding day. You fucked. Huh. My father always said, don't tell mom about this. All right, Ben, now just... Whoa. Uh, can relax. What are you okay, trying to do here? It's fucking funny anymore. Control her. Ben, please. stop it. <laughs> Fuck it. Pussy whipped? Hey. Yeah, you too. Get up. Come on. Get up. You don't have to do this. I'll be all right. The gun is getting heavy. You can put the gun down. Come on, you fucking reject. <clears throat> Not in the fucking face. Don't fuck with me. Hey. Thanks. There's a payphone back there. I called the cops. They're on their way. Gay man kicked your ass. And if you're not gonna light my cigarette, you better get the fuck out of here. Leave the girl. Fuck all you. You know, I know where they got all that. And there's a lot more. Let's go get it. All right. Okay. Best fucking road trip ever, dick. So how do you think we fucked up? What do you mean, we, Kimosabi? Well, you were right. It wasn't rocket science. But we still haven't managed to pull it off. The problem is, you should have fucked her when you had a chance. You look a gift horse in the mouth, and karma kicks your fucking teeth in. Every time. Oh, so that's it. It's all my fault. It's not entirely your fault. You can't help who you are. You're a product of this country. It's fucking big pharmaceutical, military industrial complex, Doritos, the public schools, the malls, sitting on Santa's lap while he's playing fucking While Simon was talking his bullshit, it all started to make sense to me. We were the bad guys, this time. We were the ones trying to make profit out of a present. The Earth gives us a gift of the kindest bud. And the first thing we can think to do with it, well, the second thing is to make money off of it without doing any of the work ourselves. It was like stealing from people who could have used it. Stealing from people who probably grew it. So after all that trouble and danger and that fucking 15 years of life staring me in the face? All to show for that shit is this fucking lousy bag of ditchweed. So you did all of this for me? Really? I wanted to show you I wasn't a complete fuck-up. How? By stealing a bunch of crappy dope and selling it? Sounds so fucking stupid when you say it. Listen, 200 pounds by $200 a pound, that's like... $400,000. Uh, no. It's more like $40,000. He said... I lied. You know... I didn't come home completely empty-handed. Wrote a song. For me? Pfft, of course for you. Well, let's hear it. Hey, you girls ready for this? All right, people. I want to take a moment to tell you how I met Truth and Beauty by the side of the road. She was standing six feet tall, lit by a crimson sunset, long and green. I stopped to talk to her, and she said to me, People over here, people over there People walking around, they got nothing but to spare Well, people feel low, but they need to feel how we got to
What are you looking for? The keys. You don't have the keys? <laughs> Just like an Italian, to leave it on the visor, huh? I don't know how I feel about stealing the van. We're not stealing it. We're liberating it. Oh, I see. I have my own ideas about how to free the weed, too. Here's the plan. I'm living in a relaxed state, in a swag, and my mind's a little left of center. I'm rolling in a big brown van with a couple strangers going on an adventure. Are you a fucking pig? Hit this J, cause the truth is a maze with setters and retrograde. Are you okay to drive? I'll drive if you wish. First I gotta piss like a racehorse who really has to piss. It's not far, man, go ahead and let it. There's a party in Randall's pants and everyone's invited. Ugh. Chris isn't excited cause it isn't what he wants. But Simon gets more puss than a Chinese restaurant. Sterling, Illinois, destination. The town of Ronald Reagan grew the weed that rocked the nation. The city of patience, but farmers get mad when a six foot motherfucking dope plant gets had by a long hair, a faggot, and a Jew. So what's to you. Them Bogarts stole my pot. Chill, dude. The magic eight ball said, take it all. Burning man's got the munchie, so it's time to roll, y'all. I'm living in a relaxed state of swag, and my mind's a little left of center. I'm rolling in a big brown van with a couple strangers going on an adventure. Getting high, getting stoned, taking hits, off a bowl. And I never wanna go back, never home. ever wanna go back home. You know, I'm in a relaxed state of swag, and that's pretty much all I can remember. 
what the fuck is this? Erotic performance art, you're born here, you die here, that's your part. Chillax, Bobola, try the pastrami with free ham and a side dish of drama for your mommy. We puff swag from New York to Illinois, even though the headaches tend to annoy, we smoke more. 15 years in jail for weed, give me a bag, I'ma sit back and mac this relaxed state of swag. I'm living in a relaxed state of swag, and my mind's a little left of center. I'm rolling in a big brown van with a couple strangers going on an adventure. Getting high, getting stoned, taking hits, off a bowl. And I never wanna go back, never home. ever wanna go back home. You know I'm in a relaxed state of swag, and that's pretty much all I can remember. Joy is a kinky little vixen with tricks and convinces Chris the Kate is a waste of alcohol sipping. Kate's mad, Chris's boys never bring beer and talking a lot of responsibility shit up in his ear. You know there's gonna be a surprise party, surprise, bitch. Chris just dipped and found himself on the ground kick. He got tricked cause he wasn't silly very quick. Just think about going to jail, that's all, bitch. Uh, uh, uh. Surprise, surprise, Nick's back and he's got a crazy look in his eyes. But if you're calling me killer, I'll call you sweetie Cause your rappers like the whack ass weed you're holding CD fucking New Yorkers, nothing but fags Now I load your motherfucking bags Metrosexual Jesus H, motherfucking cocksucking cranks Wasn't this supposed to be our heist, huh? Damn I'm living in a relaxed state of swag And my mind's a little left of center I'm rolling in a big brown van With a couple strangers going on an adventure Getting high, getting stoned, taking hits Off a bowl, and I never wanna go back Never home. ever wanna go back home You know I'm in a relaxed state of swag And that's pretty much all I can remember